Unexpectedly, a woman named Alexandra appears from around the corner. Recognizing who they are, she informs them that she knew Tula's father and that his house had burned down. Then, Alexandra invites the group to her place. Inside, the guests are greeted by Alexandra's assistant, a girl named Kamar, an orphan. Later, Victory joins them. It was her idea to invite everyone who had once left their village for a reunion. Currently, only six people live there, and the Porticalos family are the only ones who have responded so far. Victory says they will be staying in the largest house in the village, which is currently uninhabited. The family prepares for bed. Through the window, Tula sees a strange man watching them, who quickly disappears. In the middle of the night, Victory and Kamar knock on the window and invite the youngsters to a nearby club. Arriving there, Paris and Aristotle dance and have a good time. In the morning, they quietly return, trying not to wake anyone up. Victory brings breakfast for the family. A sheep accidentally follows her inside, startling the sleepy Aunt Frida. Then, the family goes to the market for groceries. Tula, while accepting treats from friendly vendors, unsuccessfully tries to inquire about her father's friends from the locals. And she sees the strange man who was watching her the day before again. Meanwhile, the villagers silently, but with smiles and hugs, bring gifts to the guest's house. Ian receives jars of honey from a woman, then a bouquet of spices from a man.